Number one, semi-trailer trucks have an odometer on one hub of a trailer wheel. The hub is weighted so that it does not rotate, but it contains gears to count the number of wheel revolutions. Then it calculates the distance traveled. If the wheel has a 1.15 meter diameter and goes through 200,000 revolutions, how many kilometers should the odometer read? All right, so what's the shape of a wheel, guys? Simple circle. And they told us that the diameter of this circle right, is 1.15 meters. Okay, 1.15. So now, if you were to think about it, right, let's pretend that we'll, uh, we'll just choose a random point on this wheel. Okay, and the wheel is on, right, the road. Okay, well, it's a little off the road, but it's on the road. Okay, so now, as the, right, as the vehicle, let's say, moves forward, the wheel then rotates, right? The wheel's going to rotate in the clockwise direction. All right, so if we think about it, as this wheel rotates, this point will go around a full revolution, and when it gets back to the top, maybe the wheel will be, I don't know, somewhere about here, right? So... If you think about it then, if that was the case, let me leave that wheel up actually. If that was the case, what would be the distance between these two points from here to here? Well, the distance would be actually equal to the circumference, right? So this distance between the two wheels then after it rotates would be equal to the circumference of the circle or of the wheel. So knowing that, uh, how can we find the circumference of a wheel? Well, remember, it's just a simple formula. That's a sum for, I don't, I don't know what that was. But the circumference is equal to pi d. Or, in other words, circumference is equal to 2 pi r. Doesn't matter which one you use. We have, the, uh, we have the diameter in this case, so let's use that. So it's pi d, so the diameter was 1.15. So the, conference, the circumference here should be simply 1.15 times pi, 3.61. All right, so 3.61, and that's in terms of meters. That's the circumference. Now, that's only for one revolution, right? But how many revolutions do they say this tire is going to make? 200,000. So, what do you think we got to do? We just have to multiply the 3.61, right, by 200,000. And that will get us the total uh, distance traveled, correct? So remember, I mean, the units here work out this way, right? It's... 3.61 uh, meters per one revolution, and then it's 200,000 revolutions, so that's why they cancel, and then we're left with the meters, okay? But I don't even think we, it kind of makes intuitive sense. So we take 3.61, multiply it by 200,000. We get a value of seven, hold on one second, I wrote the, we get a value of 7.22 times 10 raised to the, what do we got here, five times 10 raised to the five meters, okay? Now that's not the answer because they want it in kilometers, but that's easy, right? Just move the decimal uh, three places to the left, or in other words, just subtract three from the exponent, or in other words, divide this value by, ten, uh, by 1,000. Either way, it's, it's gonna work. So the answer then is 7.22 times 10 to the second kilometers. And that would be the final answer. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please do remember to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.